I don't actually use a system to solve this one. Um, what we can do is we, we got two trains leaving and you can draw a picture if you want to, I don't know. So let, let's read it first, okay? A train leaves a station traveling north at 66 kilometers per hour. Two hours later, an express train leaves the same station on a parallel track traveling north. So that's the same direction at 88 kilometers per hour. How far from the station will the trains meet? And if they're on the same track, they should never meet. Or are they? Parallel track. But yeah, so it should be parallel. <laughs> but it's like, will they ever meet though? Parallel lines never meet. That's true. So, but no trick questions, okay? So unfortunately we will have to assume that they do meet and then solve this problem. So here's what I do for me, okay? So we know, here's what we know, just to start out, okay? So what do they say? Uh, a train leaves, we'll say it's the first train. First train leaves at 66 kilometers per hour and they have a head start of two hours, okay? Which, which also tells us that they have now, because I'm just doing 66 times two, which is 132. That's 132 kilometer um, uh, head start lead, I guess. You can word this however you want. But that, that's kind of the main number that I need right there. It's one of the main numbers I need. I know that the first train leaving, by the time the second train leaves, they are now 132 kilometers ahead. But we know that the second train, <clears throat> excuse me, is faster by, and this is just 88 minus 62. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> I see there's a copying stuff, right? That's 22, 22, 22 kilometers per hour. Okay, so they're going 22 kilometers faster every hour. And, and what's our question here? How far from the station will they be? With, this, with these two pieces of information right here, I can tell how many hours it will take for the two trains to meet. Does that answer the question? No, but it will help me to finalize the question here. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take, now I need to write on here. I'm going to take the 132 hours sorry, kilometers, the 132 kilometer lead, and I'm going to divide this, that's my fraction line, by the speed, which was 22 kilometers per hour. Remember, division is finding out how something, how many of something goes into one, uh, another thing. And I wanna know how many 22s there are in the 132. Uh, that would be, that, that means it's gonna take six hours for the two trains to meet. But again, it's not asking how many hours it's going to take. It's asking how far from the, from the train station will they be? Well, uh, uh, so the se I'm, gonna, I'm gonna base this off the second train just because uh, it, it starts at the train station. It travels for the six hours directly and then it meets the first train, right? So we know that distance equals rate times the time. And for the second train, we know that its rate was 88 kilometers per hour multiplied by the time, which is six hours, and we get, so the distance should be 528, but not just by 28, that's kilometers. Now, if we'd done this correctly, we should be able to do this with the first train and get the same value. So the first train was traveling at 66 kilometers per hour and checking this, and I make this mistake all the time, I would just do time six, and then we would see that they're not the same. The problem is, is that the first train not only traveled for the six hours, it also had a two hour lead. So we actually have to multiply that by eight total hours. So 66 times eight, enter, and we get 528. So we see that based on this information, uh, they both traveled, I'll use blue, 528 kilometers per hour.